Hey there, Video Kit Clubbers. Welcome to the April Video Kit Club by Sparkle and Sprinkle. Uh, I have designed a, what I think is a beautiful peacock card. It was very difficult this month to choose between all of our wonderful stamp sets. Here is our True Beauty stamp set. Make sure you check out all the great stamp sets that are coming out this month. And uh, if you get them that first month, I think you get an extra discount, something like that. You know, you know more than I do. But this is the step card, and this card base is by the Paper Cut. And we're also going to be using these really fun mica fragments on our terrific tape, as well as, as you can see, the background here is you're going to be receiving this little sample of the Nouveau embellishment mousse. So here's the normal size, and here's a little tiny one that you're gonna get in this month's Video Kit Club. So there's gonna be a lot of fun in store for you ahead in this month's Video Kit video. So make sure you comment below if you have any questions or you like what you see. I love reading all of your feedback. Thanks so much and enjoy. All right, so here is our beautiful car for the May, not April, I can't believe I said that, but you guys know what I'm talking about, the May Video Kit Club. We are going to start by taking our adorable, isn't this just the cutest? Anything miniature is just adorable. So here is the embellishment mousse that you are gonna be receiving in your kit. And this is the aquamarine. So it's gonna come with this little foil layer over it. And you can just lift that up and then work right into it. So I'm gonna take my brush here and just dip in, or you can scrape some out onto a palette and work with it on that. So this is a piece of scrap paper, a piece of cardstock that I cut out to be four and a quarter long. And then I'm gonna cut my individual strips. And that's what we're gonna be using on the sides here and on the base. But first you need to make it and have enough time for it to dry before we stamp on it. So I'm just gonna take my brush and do vertical and then horizontal lines. So now I'm gonna dip in again. So having the embellishment mousse sample in our video kit club this month is great. So for those of you who have not tried the embellishment mousse yet, you're going to be able to test it out before taking the plunge and investing in a new product. So there's a lot of great things. Make sure you check out some of the other videos on our video kit up on our website up, up on our really okay <laughs> on our youtube channel scroll down and check them all out there's a couple different ones all right so i now just made this beautiful pearlized background paper and i gave kind of full coverage there's a little bit of white but that's okay because we're going to be stamping over it and adding other things over it so it doesn't have to be completely solid plus this dries pretty quickly like in a matter of seconds we put on a nice thin layer so it's going to dry fast make sure you take a little bit of soap and scrub your brush right away so right now would be when i go and clean my brush so what i'm going to do now is cut this into strips so like i said i had already made it four and a quarter and then i'm going to cut three quarter inch strips so i'm going to cut three two I'm gonna cut all three of them three quarter, and then two of them are gonna be four and a quarter, and one's gonna be four inches long. <clears throat> Once you have done that, which I have here, we are going to stamp. So I am using the beautiful feathers and the bottom of the peacock here to create the background on the actual side panels of our card. So those are the feathers. And another great fun thing with this kit is you're getting the embossing powder and the glitter, the peacock glitter. So it's priceless peacock glitter, which is so gorgeous, and the peacock embossing powder. So make sure if you've never worked with, if you're new to the Video Kit Club and you haven't worked with our embossing powders and glitters, make sure you read it first because they look very similar. So you'll see a G for the glitter 
and you'll get an EP for the embossing powder, which is right here, EP. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so I stamped my stamped with Versamark, and I'm gonna be overlapping, so you don't have to worry. It's just for a decorative effect, so I'm gonna make sure that is fully covered up, and I am going to stamp that again, and then again. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my other strip. Stamp it three times. With my Versamark. There we go. Now our actual peacock that we're using for this card is a digital stamp. So we are not going to need to do any stamping or embossing for that. But if you like stamping and coloring your own, you get the actual stamp set in this kit, so you can do that too. Sprinkle my glitter, tap that off, and now these are ready to heat set. Now if you've never worked with embossing powder with glitter in it, it's a little bit more difficult to tell when the embossing powder is completely set. So make sure you really give it a good amount of time when you're heat setting. All right, so now I'm gonna take my heat tool. Okay, so really good lighting is important here. Make sure you can see that your embossing powder is melted. And now I have these really fun backgrounds with a lot of sparkle. Okay, I'm gonna set those aside. And next, we are going to decorate our beautiful peacock. So like I said, these are our digital stamp set. So you're gonna be receiving five in the kit to make your cards. But if you want more of the digi images, you can go ahead and add that to your cart. So I'm gonna take my glue pen, and you're also gonna be receiving the glue pen in your, in your kit this month. So I'm gonna take my glue pen, and I am going to just do one, two, three, four, five dots on top, and one, two, three, four, five dots below. And I'm going to just do a little dot on top of these adorable little feathers on her head. Him, sorry, I keep calling her her. The male peacock is the shiny, pretty one with all the gorgeous feathers to attract the females. I should know better. All right, so there is peacock glitter on our peacock. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, and if you could see on my sample here, I did just the dark portion. So that tiny little dark portion on all of the feathers, and then went and filled that in with glitter. So I'm gonna do half, cover it with glitter, and then the other half. Okay, once you've got half of your feathers, the dark side inside the feather of the peacock, go ahead and hit that with glitter. The key to having your glitter stick to your cardstock is to make sure you're applying your glitter when your adhesive is still wet. So because this is a tacky glue, the glitter will still stick when the glue pen is dry, but the most permanent way to adhere it is while the glue is wet. That way when it dries, it seals in the glitter with it. Okay, just do a double check, make sure you hit them all, and I think I got them all. And there you have this beautiful, sparkly, glittery peacock. So now, we are going to set that aside, and we are just gonna do the edging for our, with our mousse. So before I do that, I'm gonna stamp out my background, and I'm going to take this same, but you can use any of these. They are all so beautiful. So I'm using, you weren't put on this earth to be ordinary. There's true beauty comes from within. I think you're amazing. Hello friend, which I absolutely love. Nothing can dim the light that shines from within. So they're all really great sayings. You can choose any of them. So I'm gonna take my memento and I've got a little one and a half by two inch 
piece of cardstock and just stamp that. Now, if you ordered the Digi, you can also just print this out and trim it on your cardstock. It does help if it's not crooked. Huh. But you know what? I'm going to make it work. What do you think? I think I'm going with crooked because sometimes crooked happens. So we are going to make that work. Deal? Okay, so now what you're going to do, I have fingernails, so I am actually going to take my little palette knife that I put away. So I'm going to take this little piece of paper and scrape some out. And I'm just going to dab my finger into it. Plus, you don't want to really contaminate your container, so by shoving your fingers in it, you can put your germs from your hand into your mousse, and we don't want that. So I'm doing a fun edge, making it look very mixed media. I've got a nice big bit there. And then I'm gonna go and do the same with my peacock. Go all around the edges. If you've never used the mousse before, it also looks wonderful with stencils. It looks beautiful over all your embossing folders on the dark paper. Just gorgeous. What a really great way to add some shimmer to your project. You can also water it down and put it in a spray bottle and use it as a spray there. There's just a lot of different things. It's a really great product, so check it out. Okay, so now that we're done with those, clean off your finger tool. And I am going to show you a quick little technique. We are going to take our border here. So all I did was I took my quarter inch terrific tape and light it on, laid it down on one of our strips. So this one is just a quarter inch shorter. So this is four inches by three quarter inches where the side panels are four and a quarter by, th by three quarter. All right, so I am simply going to take my coffee filter I'm going to peel off the back of my tape and you are going to receive these really fun, so pretty mica flakes in your kit. And I am going to kind of crumble them and drop them at the same time. So you can get a variation of, of sizes. And once you do that, I just pretty much take my finger tool and just rub right over it. And you've got this really fun textured colorful, shiny, and I thought it went really well with the peacock. And it's definitely not ordinary. So there's my little border for the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. And then what I did to add some of this beautiful flakes to the peacock was I simply took my glue pen and I'm just doing like circles little dots. So you can kind of see there some little dots up there. And then I'm just going to take the, these again and I'm just going to pounce them over that area. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. And I mean, you can do this wherever you'd like. I just thought it was gonna be fun to add just a little bit more of those mica flakes. They're so pretty onto my actual peacock. You can also place them by using your glue pen if you're trying to pick up individual pieces like that. So there is my peacock. She is all done. So see, you still got to do a lot of fun things while working with a digital image, which is what I always try to help you guys speed up your card making. You could still do a lot of the fun things without doing the coloring process. All right, so last we are going to make our 
glitter ribbon. Okay, so now we are gonna create this beautiful glitter ribbon using our Peacock Glitter and the half inch Terrific Tape. So I'm gonna take about six inches of the half inch and it's sticky right now on just the one side. So I'm gonna go ahead, use my finger tool to just make sure that is completely adhered to the one side. And then I'm gonna do the same on that little end and just burnish that in. You wanna make sure that your glitter is nice and adhered. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna take my finger tool. I'm gonna take my little fingernail and instead of trying to pull the backing of the tape, what I'm doing is I'm taping the tape to itself. So now I've got the tape stuck on itself and I've got a little handle to pull up. So instead of peeling all the backing off, you're gonna to wanna to just expose a little bit of the tape at a time. And just dip it and rub it in. And it's good if you don't put lotion on before you, uh, you know, film yourself making glitter ribbon like I did. Nice dry hands are good for this. <laughs> so burnish that in. And now I have my glitter ribbon. So I made two of these. So you can go ahead and repeat that. And next what we are going to do is make a little ruffle with it. So let's put our glitter aside. And I've got a quarter inch tape on the top and bottom of our happy little saying here. I'm gonna peel that backing off and set this down. And we are just gonna do a little ribbon effect, like a pleating. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it over and squish it in with your fingernail. So fold it over and squish it. Fold it and squish it. So you can take your time, go slow. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be the same size. It's gonna be a nice little pleating. Look like a fun little ruffle coming out of your banner. Then trim your edges. There you go. And then what I do when I'm done is I just squish it down to make sure it's fully adhered. And then you're gonna repeat and do the same thing on the bottom. And I'm kind of just gonna fluff it up a little bit. So once you, I'll do the bottom one too. Mine as well, right? Come on, demo. Keep it going. Okay, so fold, squish it in with my fingernail tool. And then trim your edge. All right, so now what you're gonna do is assemble your card. So here's your card base. And like I said in the introduction that this is from the paper cut and they have beautiful cardstock and a lot of fun different cutouts. So that is how I just folded that. So the top here gets folded in and the bottom gets folded up. There's probably some easier ways to explain that, but I hope I hope that did the trick. Okay, so next we are going to adhere all our little pieces. I've got some quarter inch, I've got some half inch tape, sorry, on the back of all of my little layers here. So there is the base. Now we're gonna take our side panels And I like to have them just about like a eighth of an inch from the top. And before you fully stick it down on the bottom, make sure it's not crooked. Like I did. Come on, guy. Just move over a little bit. I know right now you're laughing going, oh, that's always what happens to me. Okay, there. Voila. Peel the backing of your half inch off. Repeat on this side. 
by repeat, I mean don't do it crooked. Or, you know, a little crooked, doesn't matter. Sometimes you like it better when it's crooked. I like our stamp. All right, my peacock. Peel off those. I almost forgot, I added a little embellishment. glitter. There we go. <clears throat> and I did add just a little bit, just one on each side of the All right, so I just added a little decorative embellishments with the glue pen. Now I'm just gonna take my glue dots, little dimensional foam pop-ups, and I just put them on the, when it was here, it was on my right side. So when it's flipped over, it's on the left side. And now I'm going to just attach that there. And I liked the stamp actually angled off to the side instead of being straight. So you can see a difference with it straight up and down and then a little crooked. I liked the way that stamp is out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this month May Video Kit Club. Okay, and there is your card fully completed and ready to ship off to that very special someone. I have two other cards that made it before filming this week from our amazing designers. Look at how beautiful it is. I just love the peacock on the black and all of the glitter and the glitter tinsel. So make sure to check out our designers blog and this beautiful shaker card with the white peacock. So pretty, great job team. And remember, if you haven't yet, make sure you go and add your video kit club to your cart. Thank you so much for watching. Ooh.